that the citizens of Baltimore expect us to do better and to be greater. The mayor's transition report focuses on key areas, including economic development and employment. Workforce development and youth employment, retail development in neighborhoods, very critical for our city. Making sure that the businesses that are here stay here, that we expand opportunities for growth for all businesses in our city, small and large businesses. One way she plans to make that happen is already in place. She says the permitting process drew big complaints. So the city streamlined it and it's now online. She's also appointed someone to head a team on minority, women-owned and small businesses in the city that she says require a special focus. And the mayor says she'd like for it to be easier for people to get to their jobs. So transportation is another avenue her committee will look into, working to make it better, easier and faster, as well as education. People choose to move elsewhere because they don't feel that we have great schools, even though we do. One plan to launch a mentor initiative, providing financial, fundraising and communications with mentoring programs. And with that, the mayor says she would like to create healthy neighborhoods. What we do in Canton, we can do in Bel Belvedere Square, we can do in Park Heights, we can do uh, in communities that have been neglected for decades. She commended Mondamin, saying the area wanted a sit-down restaurant and now has that and more. And public safety and policing is also on her radar. The mayor says the transition report will be used as a guide for her administration in the days, weeks and years ahead. While some are short term, others are long term goals. Reporting at City Hall, Lacey Griffith, WBAL TV 11 News. Lacey,